So hi, Mike Roper, Hunter here. This here is a, a condenser um, of a microscope. Uh, the condenser can be found beneath the stage. And there is a, a small lever here that uh, which opens and closes uh, the so-called the condenser aperture diaphragm. And uh, today in this video, I would like to explain to you how to actually properly use the condenser because I have another question which I would like uh, to share with you. Thank you for producing such an informative channel for amateur microscopists. Few mid-range microscopes have Köhler illumination. Through information on how to focus, this form of illumination is common on the internet. However, the proper way to focus the illumination using a normal condenser seems to be a, le uh, seem seems to be a bit less common and harder to find. I'm focusing the condenser of a microscope on the aperture of the light source, but I'm not exactly sure that this is the correct way to focus the condenser. Could you show us how we should be focusing our normal condensers for the best illumination of the subject? Well, thank you for the question. Of course, I can do that, but I need to clarify a few things first because I think there might be a misunderstanding here. When you're um, opening and closing the condenser like this, then you're not focusing it. You're just changing the diameter um, of the aperture and focusing the condenser is done by raising and lowering it and there is a knob that you can turn to actually raise and lower it. And one reason why there is so little information on the internet or generally available about focusing the condenser, this is basically moving it up and down, is this because you don't focus it normally. You just leave it in the highest position. Focusing is more, slightly more important when you're actually using curly illumination, which is a different topic. Curly illumination, there is an, a separate diaphragm right on top of the lamp. And this is something that uh, better microscopes, uh, high-end microscopes, they often have curly illumination. Um, separate video. So what I want to simply tell you right now is, is, is you leave the condenser all the way to the top. If you see a little bit of dust, the dust of the condenser, then you can lower it a little bit and this defocuses the dust a little bit and might give you a nicely cleaner image. But generally you leave it at the top and this here, the opening and closing the condenser aperture diaphragm, which I said is not focusing, that is something that I'm going to be talking about uh, right now in this video. So first of all, the uh, condenser aperture diaphragm, when you move it left and right, the first thing that people are going to see is, is that if you move it on one side, then the image is going to be darker. And if you move it over to the other side, then the image is going to be brighter. Many people now think that this is a way to control the light intensity, but that is the wrong way of see looking at it. Um, while it does control the intensity of light, I mean, you can see the difference. Um, this is only supposed to be considered as a side effect because the real purpose in, is actually to control contrast, depth of field and resolution. So these are three things that this lever controls and there's a trade-off, okay? Contrast, depth of field and resolution. First of all, let's start off uh, with uh, contrast. When you close the condenser aperture diaphragm, okay, then you will get a high contrast and you will also, of course, get a darker image. And usually when focusing and when finding the focus, it's much easier to find the focus by closing it all the way first, because this way, even um, very, very softly stained specimens, they appear at a higher contrast. The depth of field is larger. It's easier to find the contrast and to focus. So when you put in a new specimen, I always close it all the way. Um, I turn up the light intensity to compensate for the loss of light. And then it's much easier to focus because I can also see the specimen much uh, much more easily. And then um, what I do is, is I open it up a little bit. And what opening it up results in, it results in a lower depth of field, of course. The side effect also a brighter image, of, of course. But also the resolution will go up. And now I need to explain this a little bit. Because this is, seems to be a little bit paradoxical. When you open it up, what happens is, is that the angle of the light cone will actually not be as narrow, but it will go up for, uh, apart. When you open it up, it will go apart, the angle of the light cone. And this means that there will be more image information reaching the front lens of the, um, of the objective, and the resolution will increase. Now, if you open it yet further than what the lens is able to capture, then you don't gain anything. But if you close it too much, let's say you're closing it all the way like this, and but the lens would be able to be, would be able to catch more of this information, then you are actually reducing the resolution. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing is, so ideally, <laughs> you would have the following situation that the angle of the 
um, of the con um, of the condenser is the same um, as the numerical aperture of uh, of the objective. And if you look at the numerical aperture of the objective, the number that is written on it, like for example in this uh, four times case, in my case over here, um, it's written on it. It's zero point one. Okay. Um, then what you do is is you set this to zero point one. This one does not have a scale, but many of them have. Um, you set it to zero point one. This will give you the best resolution. Okay, um, or if it says 0 0.25, you set it to 0 0.25, and then this will give you the best resolution. Everything which is closed further will reduce the resolution, and everything which is much more opened up will result in an uh, yeah, in a very bright image and and maybe in a, yeah, a washed out image because it's so bright. Now there is the interesting paradox is the following. Um, many beginners, what they will do is, is they will close it all the all the way, um, and they will use it uh, closed all the way with all of the objectives. Um, ultimately, this means is that they're going to get an image which is of a lower resolution because you're kind of not getting the full image information. But subjectively, and that's the interesting thing, subjectively the image will appear to look better and more clear. The reason is, is because of higher contrast and because uh, different layers um, are also in focus. However, this is a disadvantage in some cases, because if you have now, let's say that uh, my two hands should represent the two parts of a specimen, one is further up and one is further down. If both of them are in focus, okay, and if they're overlapping, then you're going to lose image information because the pictures are overlapping and you are not able to keep them apart. And, but if you um, open up the condenser a little bit, then this either the top one or the bottom one will be in focus, the other one will be blurred out, and it's much easier to see them. So sometimes uh, you are able to see structures much better when you open up the condenser. Um, the image will look appear in lower contrast. Um, and uh, however, you are able to slice better through the specimen uh, this way. Um, if you close the condenser, what will also happen is, is your uh, you get gain contrast because what happens is is you are uh, also creating so-called diffraction patterns. So if there's a difference in refractive index. What will happen is, is that where there are borders between uh, objects of different refractive index, you will actually see that there is the, the, the edges better. But sometimes these edges, they will make the structures appear more clearly, but they will also cover up certain other structures. So you see, it's kind of a, a trade-off a little bit. When you want to look at bacteria, for example, with a regular bright field microscope, then generally it's much better if you close it completely because bacteria are transparent and you're still able to see them because of the diffraction patterns that the small bacteria make. And that's why you're able to see that there are bacteria there. And if you open it up, um, it's going to be so transparent that you're going to not see the diffraction patterns um, and you're not able to see the bacteria, but actually you have a higher resolution. It's kind of strange, uh, but that's actually the purpose why you can change this around here so that you can find the optimum setting for the different specimens. Uh, I think this was a lot of information right now, as so I hope I was, you were able to follow. Uh, the point that I just wanted to say here is, is, the, is the following, is, is, um, and that's the way that I'm usually uh, working with this, is I always raise it completely um, and then I'm simply look, moving it left and right until I find the setting which is most suitable um, for the specimen that I'm looking at. So I generally do not um, try to you know, adjust it and set it exactly at the same value as my objective. Okay, um, This would be the theoretically the best value, but, uh, but uh, for all practical purposes I never do that. But I simply look through the microscope and I move it back and forth until I find um, the, co the, the right contrast uh, and depth of field that I like to observe my specimen. So um, I would say this was a lot of theory right now, but in all, for all practical purposes I don't go into that. These technical details when actually observing. So I think, uh, I, I don't know if this <laughs> helped you right now or if this caused more confusion, but I simply wanted to clarify this uh, that uh, essentially uh, you do not need to focus the condenser, uh, but you simply have to adjust the correct setting um, of the condenser aperture, aperture diaphragm. And uh, the reason why it's not explained so much on the internet is, is because this is, uh, I think it's a terminology thing. It's, it's not referred to as focusing. But sometimes, yeah, it's good to defocus it a little bit by lowering it down because this way you, you're also removing a little bit some of the dust that might be um, located um, on, uh, yeah, on the condenser lens. I wish you all the best and happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye bye.